Hello everyone, this is how to change the hard disk in a Lenovo V110 or V110 laptop. Um, a bit like the other Lenovo which I've made a video of, it doesn't have a user replaceable battery, it's all kind of a, uh, built in and screwed in, um, and getting to the hard disk is also a bit of a pain, you have to take the entire underside of the laptop off. However, it is not anywhere near as difficult as the B5050s to service, so uh, yeah, at least that's an upside. So the first thing you need to do is undo all the screws around the edge of the laptop, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. Uh, they are all the same length, so the ones around the edge are the same length, which on my video are highlighted in red, so you don't need to worry about putting them all in a particular position to remember where they go. The other thing you should do, or need to do, is remove the CD drive. So undo the screw which I've highlighted in green, which is in the middle of the machine, and then um, take that screw out and pull the, hard, uh, the CD drive out to the, or slide it out to the edge of the laptop, and then uh, put that away for safekeeping with the screw as well. That screw might be a different size, so it's uh, worth keeping that separate. Um, then. I found that it was easiest to open the laptop if uh, if it's sitting on a desk in the way it should be, it would be the bottom or the front left of the laptop where the card reader is. In my picture I had it resting on its screen so it's the upside upside down. Um, I'd use a, a spudger or something that's you can slip down the the edge between the the case and then the, the palm rest and uh, slowly open that side up then move around towards the uh, USBs on the left hand side and uh, and the Ethernet port and uh, carry on going around that side towards the heatsink um, and it should just unclip along there um, and so you should now have by that time the entire left hand side of the laptop case is now uh, kind of free and moving and uh, hinge it up slightly more again or a little bit more again and then the thing you've got to watch out for is the other end where the CD drive was there are four little plastic clips um, you don't want to break those so just be aware that when you're hinging the um, the case up or if you're sliding the case uh, towards where the CD drive came from that those clips need to kind of unclip or, or get undone without being broken then uh, the case just uh, lifts right off and it exposes the, the motherboard and the fan assembly and hard disk and there's one screw holding the hard disk in so undo that screw and frustratingly to take the um, hard disk out you do have to undo the little ribbon cable which runs over the hard disk and is then um, mildly glued down or uh, taped down onto the hard disk so you just have to lift that up then slide the hard disk out and once you've replaced the hard disk securely connect that ribbon cable again and then flip the little clip back down to keep it in place and then if you want tape down the uh, the ribbon cable again there we go that's uh, how you replace the hard disk